We are working it today, or maybe not working it, with Andy Challenger at Challenger Gray and Christmas. A lot of lost productivity this week between the cold weather and Super Bowl. Yeah, certainly the Super Bowl is this huge American phenomenon, right? It's the number one most viewed uh, event during the year. And a lot of people end up taking time off the Monday after the Super Bowl. Do you think that will be nationwide or mainly in the states that are really, really connected to the game? It does seem to get concentrated in the area where the teams are from. So LA and New England are gonna hit, feel the biggest productivity hit. Uh, but we're estimating $4.4 billion in lost productivity lost across the country. Uh, based on uh, last year, 13.9 uh, million people took off work the day after wow, the Super Bowl. that's a lot of people. So that that's a wide range. It really is. It's a big event. People go out late that night, have parties. The game sometimes they'll go on till midnight. You know, in whatever town you're in, and people just end up taking the day off. So, what can employers do to tackle the situation? Yeah, it's one of those ones. Sometimes we talk about the you know, distractions. You say you got to fight them as an organization. This is one you kind of just have to let happen in some ways. But try to get some of that Super Bowl magic into your workplace. Maybe uh, let people bring in their leftovers from their Super Bowl parties and do a little potluck during lunch and. Cool. You know, Great idea. Yeah, kind of like get, that. get some fun out of it. What about the squares? A lot of gambling. <laughs> yeah, you got to be a little careful with on. the squares, right? You can't condone the gambling as a as a company. What well, we do, we do squares inside of our company, but you know the company just gives a gift card at the end, huh. so people aren't putting money in. Good it's kind idea. of a way to get around the gambling issue. Well, enjoy the <laughs> yeah. game, and thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Check out businessfirstam.com to find out where to see our entire show. And don't forget to like, follow, and share Business First AM.